Hey yo, this is Dash, and I'm back out in my garage. I guess I figured I would show you the progress on the double grill. So, a little hard to see, but I have uh, I'll kind of explain what, what I have going on here. So, in the front for some structural rigidity, I use angle and I welded the angle to uh, multiple sections across the front. Hopefully you can see that. And then I ran a single piece of angle in the back and I kind of just tacked it in there. Um, it's it's pretty, it's uh, pretty sturdy. All right, for the grill grates, ended up, um, you know, just uh, doing what I needed to do to make these. Now, I will say I messed up a little bit to the point where I had to cut one of them because I had already finished welded the entire corner so I figured it was easier to just cut it in the middle and um, I had to shorten it so the problem was from here to inside of there I measured 67 inches so I said okay cool well <clears throat> when I was putting the grates together or the frames for the grates together I took off two inches because I was taking I took the 67 inch bar and I cut it in half all right so you know 33 and a half inches right and then I said oh well if I do that and I mount this to the end I'm going to have to account for this inch here and this inch here well the problem is I only accounted for two of the four total inches because there's an inch here an inch here an inch here and an inch there okay which meant that I needed to cut out four inches of space and I only cut out two. So with that being said, that's why I ended up having a cutout. Now when I did the cutout for this, well not for this one, but when I made this frame shorter, I made it shorter by two and a half inches, thinking that that would give me a little bit of leeway and I'll still end up having a cut. So what I did was I, ground my welds down in all four corners because this is going to be the top side of the crate and I have to skin it so far so I think that's a decent stopping point for today um, one of the things or I don't think I actually mentioned but the frame is made out of a one inch square tube um, I can't remember the thickness of it here I can look at it real quick uh, I don't remember what it is. Someone who's better versed at metal, maybe it's 16 gauge. Okay, so one inch by 16 gauge, I think that's what it was. So, um, this whole frame ended up being a close to 40 feet of, uh, of uh, one inch angle. I do have a, a couple pieces of it left over, but it's almost 40 feet worth. This frame, okay, ended up being close to 20 feet I think now also um you see the angle in the back is where the grill is going to uh, rest the grill grate is going to rest on and then up at the top I actually had a little bit of a uh, half inch bar so I welded the the half inch bar to the top and you know again my welds aren't the greatest. I ended up welding the half inch bar to the top, okay, to give the top some structural rigidity. And, all right. So after welding the square bar to the top, it took it a little out of shape, and um, it's okay. It does close, and uh, if you notice, I changed the hinges. Uh, the hinges, I ended up um, killing the, this hinge over here the uh, little, I don't even know what the type of hinge it was, but I ended up killing it, so I had to take it off and uh, cut it off and then I put these hinges on there. And I think I did a pretty good job of welding those on spot welds and then I, I did, I guess, um, like a flat weld or a fillet weld. I don't know what the welding types are yet, just yet. All right, so there is some daylight, okay? I did end up I did end up putting in some square or a flat stock. 
I'll put it on the inside edge for the for the outside skin the rest one. There you go. My wells don't look too too bad, so I don't mind showing these. Alright. And I'm going to have to I'm gonna to have to do something for this part here because it's still rather flimsy. So I don't know if I'm going to um, put a piece a piece of uh, square tube or flat stock on the on the inside edge or on the outside edge. Most likely to be the outside edge to help hold all of that together, and then I'll fashion some sort of handle to be able to lift the whole thing up. It's uh, not terribly heavy, which is good. Um, and the whole thing, I don't know, it's not, uh, the whole thing isn't too, too bad. When I stand back and take a good look at it, it, uh, you see I broke the wheel over there. I kind of turned it sideways and the wheel cracked and broke on me. So it's heavy enough. I might actually have to look into getting some, uh, some wheels from like Harbor Freight or Home Depot or Lowe's or something uh, so that it'll hold up to the weight um so yeah here it is this is the uh, double grill so far so good I still have some some odds and ends to finish up but I think this will be a decent update for today all right